What's up guys, a few of you have been asking for my full free play warm up and I was going to post that but it was about 20 minutes. Uh, I had a poll and it went the way of posting 20 minutes but still I, I just think there's a lot more in a shorter video I could show you that would help you out, um, like so much more. Before we get into that though, I know I just posted videos saying I'll be back and I'm posting three times a week but we have to move once again. I know, I'm... I'm very angry about it, trust me, i got to move again, I'm going to be out of internet for another two weeks, so I can't post for two weeks. I'm very sorry guys. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get into that, we're going to get straight into the video. When I start off uh, my free play, I always start off with car control, and this is just literally driving around, I drive around the corners, um, this is the best way to put it, I drive around the pitch getting supersonic speed and trying to keep it without boosting and as I'm turning corners if you didn't know uh, as long as you drive straight you'll ma maintain supersonic speed so when I'm driving and I turn in corners I'm drifting a little bit holding power slide just to drift a tiny bit then boosting out of the power slide to maintain that speed or I'm flipping that way I'm using as little boosts as I can but also maintaining that supersonic speed so I always want to start with that warm up with that and then I move on to things like wave dashing half flipping and just recoveries in general and this is because very recently I had my wave dashing and half flipping has just been so so off and I can't explain it and I think it's because I changed especially with my half flipping I've changed uh, my so my square button is on air roll left I believe and it used to be on air roll right and it's just I've changed it back and forth a few times to see what fits me better, but I can't. Every time I'm I'm um, half flipping now, I think I rotate my car too far one direction for it to then even out with that air roll left. I think the car rotates a bit too much to the right to even itself out, and it has really thrown me in some game. And I've conceded so many goals trying to just simple half flips back that then just I don't know land on the head of the car, and I can't do anything about it. It's not rotating properly. Uh, so if that is a me thing, if that's something I need to change, I'll look into that. But if there's anything you guys know, if, if, if there's a video trying to explain that, or if you guys just have some kind of tips that can help me out, because that's really getting on my nerves. Um, but I'm, I am, I'm working on that every day, my free play. I'm just trying to get half flips down. I still... I, I'll get it. I'll get it, guys. Don't worry. So obviously wave dashing, just standard kind of stuff. Wave dashing, half flipping recoveries what I kind of do is throw myself at the wall um <laughs> strange I know I that, that thing I've recommended before that a couple of people aren't don't really enjoy but it's what I do I throw myself at the wall uh just try and get the best recovery I can just push myself over and over again and throw myself at full speed just trying to land better it has helped me over time it's this one to be honest has helped me uh, slowly like the other ones have helped me more a bit quicker but this one was quite a slow process it has helped me over time and if you are a low level definitely do implement these things in your free play warm-up if you are warming up and i do suggest warming up but yeah this one over time this one has helped i didn't see it at first but now now i do um so after my car control wave dashing half flipping recovery i start hitting the ball finally <laughs> with hitting it as hard as you can and following up as fast as you can and this one I do for about five minutes and I didn't want to show you guys that full five minutes because the rest of the stuff I do for five minutes as well so it's a long video uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna break it down for you a bit a bit faster so hitting the ball as hard as you can and following up as fast as you can uh, this was recommended by I believe Musty made a, vi a, a lot of people made a video but I for found it in Musty's Musty's video Definitely, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Just go over to Musty's channel, look up. Uh, I think the video is something called How to Get Faster. How to Improve Your oh, your Mechanics Faster. Something like that. Amazing. He's an amazing content creator. Obviously, you'll know him. <laughs> you should know Musty. But yeah, he talks about how the pro players in between games and just in German when they're in free play like to hit the ball as hard as they can and follow up as fast as they can. Because it, it works on the mechanics, definitely. It works on the recovery mechanics coming off the wall, off the ground. It works on uh, how you can predict the ball and the ball flight, how the ball bounces. Essentially, it's just going to get you faster to the ball, get you moving a bit quicker. 
you're going to get to the ball faster than your opponent if you work on this every day, especially if you're in the lower ranks. I cannot stress enough how much this would have helped me if I was doing this when I was a uh, gold, platinum kind of thing. Like, obviously, do it when you're bronze, silver as well. It'll be a bit harder, I have to say. Um, but yeah, definitely, you need to be practicing this. Just hitting the ball as hard as you can, uh, trying to get some air in it, I guess, as well, and then following up as fast as you can, which means if you bounce it off the backboard, you go straight up, you try to get to it and meet it. You're not trying to score, ever. Because the second you score, you break your momentum. So you need to be hitting it off the walls, off the corners, off the off the ceiling, off the ground. Keeping the ball moving, keeping yourself moving, trying to keep up that speed. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, this is how you're going to build up speed in your game. Is, is moving as fast as you can, hitting the ball as hard as you can, working your way around the pitch. Um, and Musty does explain it without rambling like I've just done. But, yeah, definitely hitting the ball hard as you can, following up as fast as you can. The next thing I like to go into doing is something I've started doing quite recently because I've started picking up ones again, is controlling the ball on the wall. And it's not like going up the ball and transferring it into a air dribble and scoring. Because, like, that's not what you want to be practicing. You can practice that stuff, and I've recommended it, but I recommended it because it's a fun way to end your warm-up. It's a nice way to go into it. If you score a couple air, goal, air, uh, air dribble goals when you're not used to scoring air dribble goals, you'll get a bit hyped up. But if you want to seriously work on your warming up and you want to seriously improve, what you want to do is control the ball off the wall by going up, driving up next to it, and controlling it down, landing underneath the ball to get the control. Um, I've definitely practiced a whole lot more because I've been doing ones. And in ones, you do not want to be hitting the ball off because you'll lose possession. So uh, rather than obviously trying to air dribble it and missing 90% of the shots like I do, you want to be driving up next to the ball, following it down and controlling on the way out. So you maintain possession, you, you've got the ball, you're ready to shoot. You haven't hit the ball into the middle of the field and just lost all possession, having to scramble back into goal because the opponent's going to take an easy shot with you on the wall or potentially in the air if you came off the wall. Just control the ball down the wall and move your way out and then rotate back around and do the same again on the other side of the pitch. That's just what I've been practicing recently. But after this controlling the ball on the wall, I move into dribbling. And dribbling is just one of those... One of those key things, no matter what rank you are, practice your dribbling. Of course, unless you're, oh, even still, even still, if you're grand champ, practice your dribbling. Like, if you can dribble for 45 minutes straight, just keep it up. <laughs> I think my, 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 my best for me is about three, four, five minutes. Um, it's just practicing. It's not going fast. It's not potentially going slow. It's just where you're comfortable, keeping on as long as you can, working your way around the pitch, um, when you get better at it, maybe you can practice fast dribbling, working your way around as quick as you can, or at a maintainable speed, because fast dribbling in the end is going to get you more goals, it's going to be un more unpredictable. But after dribbling, um, I'll go into flicks. Flicks is something that I need to work on, and I have been working on it a lot, and I will have a few tutorials coming out for you. I've just done a tutorial about how you can get better at flicks faster, and so I'm going to be coming out... Obviously, after this two-week break, or if I manage to squeeze a video in before I go away, about the different kind of flicks you can do in some tutorials for them. Uh, the 180 flick, the 90 degrees flick, the... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Tornado flick? I've been trying to work on that one a lot, and it's it's quite hard starting off. Once you get into it, it's quite fun if you can pull it off in-game. It's also very dangerous because I've ended up in the net a few times, uh, <laughs> conceding on the other end. But after my flicks, which I do work on for quite a while, just because I have been working on them, uh, especially four ones, I move into bounce, dribble, like power shots kind of thing. And it's it's something I'm not using in ones, and I should be. It's one of the, It's a hook shot, essentially. Bouncing the ball and your dribble off the ground just to get more power behind it when you eventually want to pull the trigger. And it's something I definitely, everyone should be using in ones. No doubt about it, and I'm not. And I can see my opponent's eye, and I'm getting caught at every time because the power you can generate from these kind of shots is insane. So definitely be implementing bounce dribble power shots into your warm-up and into your games. So that is my warm-up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to keep updated with any future content. So just to let you guys know, I have received my webcam. I've also bought a new microphone, the AT2020, I believe, condenser mic. Um, so the audio quality should be a lot better coming up. I'll have a webcam so you guys will finally get to see what I look like. I'll probably start playing with face cam, which is 
something I've never done before, but it'll be it'll be a fun change. Um, I've also got a Patreon account that I'll link in the description if you guys do want to support me. I will be adding things to the um, the tier list, and if you guys do have any suggestions, please let me know because I want to be giving you guys what what you want. And I, Patreon is a very good way for me to do that because it means I can I can speak one on one with you guys, spend a lot of time with you guys working on stuff in your game like or just jamming together playing together whenever we can kind of thing so i can tailor the tiers around what you guys need and if you don't know what patreon is go check it out and you'll understand what i'm talking about anyways that is everything for me today i'll see you next time